What's up, everybody? It's your boy TGK back with another What's Up with the Mavs episode number six. Without further ado, let's get straight into the topic. All right, man. So before we get started, this is episode six, man. And if you've been enjoying this series that I do weekly, definitely leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment about what you've liked, what you want me to add. I really, really appreciate all that because it is about to be that math season and T minus a month and a half almost. We get in there, bro. And when we get there, I'll be doing mass pregame shows. So and then these kind of episodes will stop at that point. But anyway, man, make sure I leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, the first topic we're going to get into today is JaVale McGee. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it has been made official that JaVale McGee has been stretched, waived from the Dallas Mavericks, and he is no longer on the Dallas Mavericks roster. For JaVale McGee, it seems like the Sacramento Kings have expressed interest in signing him, but that now leaves uh markeith morris to be signed with the mavs i think this is it, it's a failure on our behalf as far as the mavericks organization and given javel mcgee the contract that they gave him but now they have to make right whenever they can and yeah they'll probably eat this contract for the next two years but it is what it is they moved on from a mistake so salute to the mavericks for identifying said mistake Let's get into the next item. And in cooler news today, the Dallas Mavericks will be traveling to Spain to take on Madrid in a basketball game for the Mavericks preseason, October 10th, 2023. I am actually considering going. I looked at the flights and then I had to unconsider because uh, the flights were like 1,200 bucks, but I definitely wanted to go. But uh, that, that should be a fun game. Luca back in. Uh, his stomping grounds where he built his uh, started to build his career. So that should be a fun game to see and see how Luca enjoys himself out there, man. So be on the lookout. October 10th, Mavericks in Spain taking on Madrid or Real Madrid. Let's go. All right. So the next thing I want to touch on is basically the Mavericks players that have been in the FIBA World Cup tournament. Right. I want to talk about their stats and what they look like. All right, Josh Green has been in three games, and in those three games, he is averaging 9.1 points per game, shooting 53.7% from the field, shooting 42, 40.2% 40 from the three-point, and he is averaging around three-ish, probably less than three-ish rebounds a game, and 1.7 assists per game. That is Josh Green. Dante Exum is blamed for Australia as well, and he's been in those same games. I have no clue why this is so wrong, but he's averaging eight points per game. He's averaging about 47% from the field, 57% from three, around 2.8 rebounds per game, and 2.2 assists per game, I guess. And your favorite, ladies and gentlemen, Dwight Powell. He is averaging 6.7 points per game, shooting 73.2% from the field, 0% from three because he did attempt one three, and he is averaging 4.1 rebounds per game and 0.9 assists per game. Is there anything to be like, oh, this is like great statistics by these players? No, it's nothing too crazy, but they are having to play a different style of game in FIBA, less minutes, less opportunities, I guess. Um, but when you look at Luka Doncic stats, he is averaging 30 points per game, seven assists per game, and eight rebounds per game. So it seems like Luka is being Luka and everyone else is being who they are. I don't think Josh Green is supposed to be like the main option for Australia, but I would like to see him pick up his scoring as well. I mean, you're averaging nine in FIBA, around 30 minutes a game. I guess it'll correlate to the NBA and you could probably average 11 here, but that'll be with better competition. So I don't know, man, but it, it, it'll be definitely interesting to see uh, how Josh Green continues to go through the FIBA tournament. And see if he could get better. I mean, he had two slow games, six points, six points, and then came out firing 15 points against Japan. So we'll see what he does move forward. All right, so now the video that has made its rounds today, the Booker and Luka Trash Talk video, where the audio was picked up, has officially released. Check it out. Oh, 
communication. Now for me, I don't know about you, I couldn't hear a damn word they said. Thankfully, there was captions down there that was saying what was said. I couldn't pick any of the, any of that up, but I did pick up what Kyrie said. I was be I was able to pick up that. So salute to Kyrie for for stepping in and, and, and speaking. All in all, this is a bunch of nothing. There is nothing to it. Last year, it's time to move on, move forward, and and we need to get some get back this upcoming year. We already know Luca and Booker don't like each other, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I like the fact that it leaked because now you get to see like they really don't like each other. So. Who knows how it is in the next couple of games that they have against each other. But I know that as far as this instance, it's just trash talk, bro. A lot of the stuff that happens on the court is always going to just stay on the court. And that's how these two competitors are going to look at it. They're just going to keep it on the court and leave it be. It is what it is. That's how I look at it. But I couldn't hear a damn thing. So I don't know if you did. Let me know if you did. And the last topic for today, it is Paul George on the Paul George podcast talking about Luka Doncic. Check it out. Hey, you don't see him twice in the playoff. Mm-hmm. You know, give some of that to Ookie Ookie you. You already <laughs> know. But I want to know how would you how would you break down Lucas game and evolution in the league right now? Well shit. Lucas the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Some people No nah, man, uh, Luca, like not next up, Luca is now. Like Luca is for real now. Like he's he's past that next up after his first season. Like you knew Luca's gonna be that guy, and he's that guy now. Um but he's he's just like with his size, his scoring ability, his playmaking, his IQ, his vision, um, and now, I mean, this, we're talking about being the biggest international player now. Like, that's surpassing goats. You know what I mean? That's surpassing Dirk. That's surpassing Tony Parker. That's surpassing uh, Hakeem. That's surpassing, like, he's got a chance to be the, the, the biggest international guy. You know, surpassing uh, Giannis in a way. Like, so, yeah, man, you, and the way the game is going, transcending to, to the international game, the, the evolution of the game is starting to be more and more international guys popping up in our league. Um, I mean, he's got a chance to be, you know, one of the best to ever do it. His game is just way older than, than what he is. Right. Like, he's, he's tough, man. He's, he's a problem. Big, big fan of big fan of Luca. I agree. And he talked that shit too. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. All that all of it. Like he talked all that shit. Big shit. Big shit. Like <laughs> like disrespect. Like I'm curious like what kind of trash talk does he do? Because I wouldn't really I know he there's he has his moments. Scary. But you're saying like consistently he's letting you know? Yes. If you talk to him, like if you talk to him, he he gonna talk that shit to you. He's cold, man. He, 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 he down. Down. He's he's I'm not gonna say what he said just because that don't need to get out right, some of the right. shit don't that I've heard him say. Don't do that. But he a cold killer with some of the shit that I've heard him say. My goodness. I want to know after after we're done. <laughs> I'll let you know. Everyone. Thank you, thank you. Now, what Paul George said, it is really awesome to hear. I think it is, it's an ongoing theme now. Curry started it talking about Lucas on a precipice. Now, Paul George saying Luca the GOAT, like he's been the guy. He's going to be the guy. It's not his time. It already is his time. Sp- spoke on the battles that they've had recently. Salute to Paul George for giving Luca that, that kind of bigging him up so to speak it was cool to see how they even talked about lucas trash talk and how paul george was like yes bro like he talked mad trash and then the the co-hosts were like really like does he really talk like that and like we know it we've seen him do it watching him live in, in the aac just seeing it in the in the heat of the battle luca does talk trash so it was cool to see that but it, it's really cool to see like players like curry legends you know like paul george giving luca the the kudos and giving him the props that that he People will say he hasn't earned because he's not a champion yet, but he's definitely earned the props, man. I mean, he he is him at the end of the day. Luca is one of those players that just continuously add to the game, that plays his style of game, that he's ahead of his time. Like Paul George said, like he is, he plays older than he actually is. And so I thought that was really cool to see. It's dope to see that kind of stuff as a fan, but also to see competitors that compete against each other speak well about each other. Because I'm pretty sure when it's on the court, it's a lot different. But that was dope to see at the end of the day. All right, man. That has been episode six. This week was a little bit, not that much news. But I hope y'all appreciated what I was able to get. Man, let me know what you think. Comment down below what you want me to add to this. Or you just want me to keep it going as it is, man. Again, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It really goes a long way. It has been your boy, TGK. I got my viral gear up in here. If you haven't known, I went viral with 50 Cent the other day. Crazy, right? I... I don't even want to get started. Anyway, man, it's been your boy TGK. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.